So you might have heard some people say that 5G is able to achieve higher speeds than its predecessors because it operates at higher frequencies. And that seems to be a common theme. Higher frequency communication systems appear to have higher transmission speeds than lower frequency systems. Another example of this is Wi-Fi. 5 GHz Wi-Fi is often faster than 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Which leads us to the question, does transmitting at a higher frequency actually result in a higher speed, or is it just some coincidence? Now, in order to figure out the maximum theoretical transmission speed of some radio communication, there is actually an equation, and it's called the Shannon-Hartley theorem. So it's a mathematical equation, and you can plug some numbers into it, and then it'll give you the maximum possible transmission speed that you can achieve on this connection. And here's what that equation looks like. So on the left side, we have the throughput or the capacity, whatever you want to call it, the speed of the connection. And on the right side, we have some terms that we have to fill in, and then we get a certain throughput out of it. And if we look at this equation, we can see that the throughput or the capacity of the connection depends on two factors. First of all, there is the signal to noise ratio, and then there is also the bandwidth. Now the signal to noise ratio is essentially the signal strength, because if you have a higher signal strength, you get more speed. Right? You've all experienced this with Wi-Fi. If you're very far away from that access point, you've only got one bar of signal strength, uh, the speed is going to be absolutely terrible. And that's because your signal to noise ratio sucks. The other term that is in this equation is the bandwidth. And the bandwidth means the range of frequencies that you are using for the transmission. So it's the difference between the highest frequency that you use and the lowest frequency you use. It's the width of the channel that you're using. So assuming that we have a constant signal to noise ratio, you know, let's just say that that's, you know, some constant number, it doesn't change. The speed of the connection depends purely on the bandwidth, the frequency range that we are using. And that automatically means that the absolute frequency at which we're transmitting kind of doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I have a 5 kilohertz band ranging from 1000 to 1005 kilohertz, or if I have that same band from 10,000 to 10,005 kilohertz. It doesn't really make a difference. In the second example, the absolute frequency is much higher, but the range size that we're using, the bandwidth, that's still the same, and so the theoretical capacity is still the same. So now we get back to the question that we asked in the beginning of this video, does higher frequency equal higher transmission speed? No, not directly at least, because the transmission speed depends on the range of frequencies you use, not on where in the frequency spectrum that range is located. But then in a practical sense, it actually does matter. So, for instance, in theory, it's possible to create a 100 megahertz wide channel at a frequency around 200 megahertz. In practice, that's undoable. That channel is so incredibly huge compared to the absolute frequency that we're transmitting at that we're going to re run into all sorts of issues. What kind of antenna is going to support that kind of a range? What kind of transmitter and receiver are going to support that kind of range? Uh, what about creating more channels? You know, often you'll want to create five, maybe ten different channels. There isn't space for that many of those channels at this frequency. But if the transmission frequency was, let's say, 10 gigahertz, a 100 megahertz channel wouldn't be a problem at all because 100 megahertz is just a tiny slice compared to the absolute frequency that we were using. And so now using that kind of pretty wide channel is no longer an issue. So while having a higher frequency doesn't directly increase the transmission speed, it makes it much more practical to use wider channels. And therefore indirectly using a higher frequency does increase the speed. So this is also the case with Wi-Fi. 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi uses 20 or 40 MHz channels, 20 MHz per channel, but it can use two channels at the same time to make 40, whereas 5 GHz can use 80 or 160 MHz channels. So the channels are wider, therefore it's faster. Anyway, now you know a bit more about the relation between transmission speed, um, channel size, 
and frequency. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and of course, thank you for watching.